Hi guys, I am Mist, and today I have some ROM to show you, as you can see in the thumbnail. And there it is! And this is really special ROM, and I just thought of it. You know, I bet someone made something similar, but I like this one. It's got some very unique features. So let's get to it. So, believe it or not, this ROM is basically half the size of the classic ROM. And I'm going to show you why, just real quick. So, in classic ROM, usually what you do is you have a, uh, a bus for data down here, and then you have some lines up here to store uh, some data, read-only data. That's what ROM is. It's read-only memory. And basically, if you have a decoder set to this position, and it turns on, then these torches will turn on with whatever number you set in there. So this is basically the classic way to do it. And the way I'm going to present to you is quite interesting because, as you can see, the number comes in serial. And all these buses link to one spot, which is interesting. Synchronized, by the way, has to be. Um, the way I got it to be so small is by basically using observer blocks with serial signals. Um, observer blocks give out a one tick delay, and you can have uh, things update in between them, like rails and stuff. And I use rails as zeros, and I use note blocks as ones. So when we have a note block in the chain and we activate it, it's going to turn that redstone line on. If we have r rails, in this case activator rails in the line, it doesn't activate the redstone does. So what we could do is we can have a pattern of rails and note blocks inside this ROM, and we can read out the number in serial into this register I made. Now this register is nice because when you seek a number, it's not going to scroll across. It's actually going to lock out the output temporarily and then have it set the whole number in there, kind of like a buffer. And you can have a register or whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, now, the applications for this ROM, you could use it for a lot of things. Program memory. Um, my use is going to be lookup tables. I'm going to actually write a program to build me lookup tables. And a lot of lookup. Because I wanted to make a redstone uh, machine that can do pretty cool calculations with low hardware. I thought that would be kind of cool. And this is a great way to approach it. With that said, I'll go ahead and demonstrate how you're going to actually use it and stuff. There's a world download. You can actually open it right now and join me. And, yeah. First, we're presented with the input and output. Our input's a 6-bit number from 0 to 63. And, yeah. This right here will be our 0th index. So this line of observers will be our 0th index. And the 63rd index will be this very top corner guy. So basically, we have index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And then you're going to start right here to go to 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and so on. And you can actually see that quite nicely here. Um, you could test out this decoder. It's a really cool decoder. These are used for screens and stuff. I just made it. Um, it's it's synchronized as well, so yeah, that's good. But yeah, so let's put in a number. I'm just gonna put the number five in the zeroth index, and in the sixty uh, third index, I'll go ahead and put eight because believe it or no, I'll put three actually, because five and three. Are cool numbers to demonstrate except it's kind of not <laughs> in this context uh, it's kind of weird yeah so we've got five and three and what I'll do is I'll input zero I'll click the seek button and we'll get our five out boom five easy let's go ahead and input 63 and then we'll seek that address and boom we got three. Oh my gosh amazing it works. 
now you're saying, okay, well, mystery, this thing's so dang tight. How do we fit numbers in the lower slots, like the middle? Well, guess what, guys? There's gaps in between these. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Gaps. You can literally code these numbers without any hassle. Isn't that just spectacular? It's actually brilliant. <laughs> it's great. So there you go. You have a way to encode numbers anywhere you want with no hassle. It's very simple. And yeah, the world downloads down there. So guys, if you liked this video, go ahead and like it. And dislike it. If you don't like it, you can even tell me why. I like to improve. You know, it's just part of life. And yeah, hey, if you come up with any cool devices using this, let me know. I would love to see that. <laughs> All right, guys, take it easy.